continue. Let's continue. Um, Joe, Joe Rogan talks about taxing corporations more won't help and shares a meme explaining how politicians use taxing the rich as a ploy to turn people against the rich. Brilliant takes on more ways to spend your money. I can't the wait. I can't wait for another brilliant fucking take from the main man himself, dude. This guy every day, every day that passes by, I'm like, I love getting, you know, I love getting like a 90s era conservative. Joe Rogan talks about tort reform. You know what I mean? Like I, he, he's just like devolved further. What the fuck? New message from Porsche. Porsche ice cream. Yes, please. Porsche colors turn Porsche flavors. Follow at Porsche on Twitter to reply to this tweet with hashtag for Porsche ice cream sweepstakes for your chance to win all five ice cream flavors. What the fuck? Bro, I don't want that. The problem with paying more taxes is they're just going to find more ways to spend your money. I don't necessarily think it's going to make anything better. You know, I think the bureaucracy in this country is so clogged up and fucked up and ineffective. I just, I don't think they would be better if that, like if we all just gave 75% taxes. Yeah. They, they're not going to fix the streets. They're not going to cure the homeless problem, fix all yeah. the crime. They'll they're just gonna, figure out more ways to spend. Yeah. yeah. They'll find new ways to tell you that the rich people are not paying their share. So you turn on them. Yeah. You ever see, there's like a, I love memes. I've been. Yeah, bro. <clears throat> He's so right. God, he's so brilliant and so right. Fucking meme happy lately. Yeah. Well, well, yeah. Oh, they're so funny. It's like when things are gone gone crazy. Mm -hmm. Like Seven I months. love memes mm -hmm. because it just seems like those are the that's the shit that they makes... sometimes summarize things perfectly. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But uh, someone just sent me one um, about I'm gonna find it for you about people with pitchforks turning on the people with torches. Hold on a second, I'm fucking this up. It's not good. Bro, my vision is dog shit. My, <laughs> my vision is dog shit. Dude, every part of this is just boomer galore, dude. This is awesome. Top text, bottom text, incoming. He's showing a meme on his podcast. Oh my fucking God. Dude, I, I love this. I love this. I love this. This is this is it. This is peak podcasting, boys. This is the number one podcast on the planet. I love that. I'm not even I'm not even being sarcastic. I just I love that this is what uh people consider to be like, you know, epic uh broadcasting. He's like you in a few years as Bobber Bobber. Yes! He's me right now, motherfucker. And too, it gets worse. It's getting so bad. All the time. I mean, if I don't I'm not gonna find it. If I don't wear reading glasses, oh here it is. I can barely see of those you know those little things, the the little squares on you like your iPhone. Yeah, the images. I have to make the image full size. Yeah, I can't figure out what that little thing is. Yeah, I've gotten to the point where, if any type of thing is written in on the phone, yeah. I have to enlarge or wear glasses. I can't. I can't just read the. Uh, so this one's like a cartoon. Oh no! You don't need to fight them. You just need to convince the pitch, pitchfork people that the torch people want to take away their pitchforks. Oh yeah, it's real. It's real. Bro, what? <laughs> what? Bro, this isn't even a boomer meme. Bro, this is literally a fucking newspaper cartoon. This would be a boomer meme if we were in 1997, dude. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, that's awesome. This is like the original format before people were like, that's a meme. <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? Yo, that's awesome. He completely misunderstands it, doesn't he? It's literally a commie meme about the elites turning the workers against gang, each other. Gang. Yes, this is about this. I mean, this is something that like a lot of uh, reactionaries nail, but don't really comprehend that they're a part of it. Okay. When always say like when they, when people always say like oh no divisiveness no divisiveness like when centrists and like center right people say no divisiveness like this is kind of what they're talking about like divide and conquer as a as a political strategy for those who own capital right it is literally at the heart of American politics we have a two party system where we are constantly uh, you know engaging in culture war issues 
that have uh, uh, that have no material basis. That uh, oftentimes is just not even a fucking divisive issue. It's just they're making it turn. Uh, they're turning it into daddy. a divisive issue. Um, and and there is a bipartisan co consensus and constant compromise when it comes to deregulation, tax cuts for the wealthy, all this other shit. Um, you know, all, all this other shit. The it, it, our endless expansive military project or our imperialist uh, endeavors overseas. Our domestic military uh, milita militarization project for the police force, um, all of that stuff is is uh, the real the real shit that uh, everybody agrees on. Okay, no, I haven't fucking uh, reviewed Probably the Andrew Tate nuts. debate yet. Huh. The number one podcast in the world. An old man says, "I love memes," and then struggles to pull up a poorly cropped image of a newspaper cartoon. Yeah, he also said, "Shoot the homeless." <laughs> Took a train from Finland to Joe Russia Rogan shocked to learn it is illegal to steal from homeless people and suggest they should all just be shot. Okay. Silent generation as meme. I mean, th this is what they would do if you got more taxes. I guess that's not a meme. That's a cartoon. Yeah. This is what they would do if they got more taxes? Hey, dumbass, this is what they're doing right now. You didn't even fucking understand. You have a lot of pipeline juices in here just for that. Yeah. But same idea, basically. Oh my God, this is awesome, dude. He he is like he's gotten dumber and dumber. I don't know if it's like, I don't know if he is just like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Um, oh here, this is the this is the Joe Rogan experience once again. Uh, trained by day, Joe Rogan by night, all day. Let's take a look at what he had to say about homeless people. And then uh, we're on the underpass, and there's porta potties, not one either, like four, like a deck of Something porta potties. And then someone has a car parked there on the sidewalk like partly on the sidewalk so they're like half blocking a lane and then they have like a, a canopy draped over their car and they have just stacks of shit and then next to it was a dresser they had a dresser jesus so they had their shoes nice and box. a shoe rack there was a shoe rack oh the horror bro can you imagine having a fucking place to put your stuff like as human beings uh, need you know can you imagine creating shelter for yourself against all odds that's really fucked up. I hate that. Now, look, is it an eyesore? Absolutely. Okay. I'm not like one of those Smile. fucking weirdo, like aesthetic liberals who's going to be like, uh, just turn the other cheek. Like, no, that shit sucks. Okay. That is a fucking gross uh, uh, abdication of responsibility from the fucking government. Okay. That's it. That's what that is. It is literally not just like an eyesore, but also just basic human decency being cast aside. Okay? No one should have to live like that. And it is wild. It is just... It's wild that we're literally watching people live on the fucking streets. Okay? In goddamn tents. In the wealthiest nation... High speed trains. On American Earth. Ayo, top G, start talking about sash. Cobra. Ayo, start the Tate debate G. Fuck Joe Rogan, start XUC versus Tate. Okay? Suck me. Oh, are these like the fucking Andrew Tate Discord uh, uh, idiots, like the multi-level marketing Andy's in here that are like waiting Almost one for me to fucking right. look through the Andrew Tate debate so they can fucking start chiming in and being like, Andrew Tate's a legend, man. He's a legend. Like this is where they live. They're That's just... really wild. I didn't know also <sighs> that, um, you know, when, when you see stuff like that on the streets, at least okay. in Los Angeles or maybe in California... Those are that's protected property, like by law. You know that, like if you were so to you're go, not supposed to do that. But and, and but like that's that person's property by law. If you oh, were to the go, homeless person's property yes. is protected. Yes. What the fuck? Why? What? What do you mean? Like, dude, this is awesome. They have been begging since you started. As soon as you said sup, everybody, motherfucker said move on to Tate. Yeah, we'll do that in a little bit, dude. This is this is awesome. He he's just straight up fucking admitting that he doesn't see homeless people as human beings. Hassle from a mailman. You don't say you stuff like this unless you straight easier. up don't believe homeless people are human beings. Like that's it. He's saying like what? They own stuff? They can have rights? Like he literally that, that's it. That's straight up what this is. Absolutely. Huh. If you were to go and try to move that or take that, you'd they, get arrested. Yeah. Yeah. Hilarious. Mm -hmm. But they wouldn't arrest. Why is that hilarious? Of course. 
Isn't Joe Rogan like a libertarian? I don't understand. What? Um, mods, you can you can keyword excusitate and different variations. By the way, get to it when we get to it, boys. Rest if you shot somebody. Maybe you should just go and shoot the homeless people. I like your ideas. Yeah. yeah. And if nobody claims it, I mean, nobody does anything about violent crime in L.A. anymore. It's a fucking joke. Yeah. They're just letting people out. What? Does Joe Rogan not know that there was literally a fucking mass murderer of homeless people in the D.C. New York area? Joe Rogan thinks that the, the way to deal with the homelessness problem is by shooting homeless people? What the fuck? It is communist. Joe Rogan also made a comment lately. Trudeau is a dictator and Canada is communist over vaccine requirements to get in the country. Canada's crazy. They're fucked. They're fucked. They got to get rid of that guy. How much time? That's honestly a shocking to say. Dude, 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 dude. Joe Rogan faced with uh, the, the truth that like homeless people are human beings. And that yeah. you can't like just steal their One shit, even though it looks like trash. And he just fucking turns around and his first, his first no move immediately after so this revelation content, is to just kill them. In these fuck times. Love he you, said he was Uncle. joking after this clip, but still, what the fuck? The most charitable uh, approach to this, by the way, the most charitable approach I can have, okay, to this is that he was not just like joking, but he was joking about, um, he was, he was joking about like, uh, how not just joking, but like, he's trying to say that like cops don't do anything about murder or some shit and he just let it out. Hassan, a man of research, lol, ha ha ha. Must be nice to live in a clown world. We, you live in the clown world with me, idiot. Like, I think he was just trying to make an argument about how, like, California fucking lets out uh, murderers or whatever, which is not real, but, like, another reactionary fucking talking point. I love stunlocked Hassan. JK, love you. Um, even if he was joking, let's fucking murder homeless people. Isn't a funny joke? No, I know. I, I, I understand. Thanks, chatter. I mean, it's not a joke when the main, the, the main premise that revolves around your joke is like the, the denying the humanity of homeless people, right? Um, like that's, that's where this, uh, this, this gets off the fucking rails and is no longer really a joke. And it's just like, like homie said, This is Joe Rogan from 2013. Joe Rogan on Homeless Guys, not my quote. It's actually Greg Geraldo's, R.I.P. Gerlados. This homeless guy asked me for money the other day, and I was about to give it to him. Then I thought, he's just going to use it on drugs and alcohol. Why should I give it to him? Then I realized, that's what I'm going to use it on. Why am I judging this poor bastard? Now, that is a good joke. It flips a, a uh, like stereotypical uh, reactionary talking point on its head. And shows you the hypocrisy in it. I like that. That's pretty. That's and that's not Joe Rogan. Apparently, it's someone else's quote. But hassle. Just getting better with every subscription. I bet you is a spicy meme about homeless people that he cut out of a newspaper in two thousand two. In comedy writing, it's called a cover up. When you just say "just kidding" to do a quick tag, Joe Rogan can't even tag a tag to do the cover up only three years ago he was having tons of great people on Bernie Cornell West Abby Martin Pac-Man something changed that we don't know about in my opinion I mean this is my opinion and you can feel free to agree or disagree that's Philip DeFranco doesn't give his opinion on most things so the fact that he gave his opinion on this is kind of wild the point of 
uh, it, but it, <laughs> he gave his opinion on the Joe Rogan thing to defend him on the joke side. But that's because he's a YouTuber, okay? If you're a content creator on YouTube, you literally have to be like, there's still the holdover from like, it's just jokes and it's free speech. 19 months of watching you, you know watching what I mean? Joe Rogan kick one. Like, you have to say that, or they will come in and they'll shoot you. <laughs> They'll they'll destroy your channel. They they will literally tell you like, oh, you didn't say free speech. Having these conversations and discussions, but I, I personally don't understand how you could watch that clip and go, yes, Joe Rogan is legitimately calling for the murder of the unhoused. To me, that seems like two comedians, Rogan and Segura, talking about the authorities having their priorities out of whack. Joking that the police are more likely to try and arrest you for stealing from an unhoused person rather than if you murdered them. Right? Like if you lived in a place where people were more likely to be prosecuted because they were going like 110 miles an hour in a 60, rather than committing manslaughter, you'd be like, oh yeah, if you're gonna drive 110 miles an hour just drive into someone to me it just feels like a kind of random throwaway joke that said i'm not going to villainize the advocates that jumped on this story I think oh he basically said no he, he said what i said like the most charitable interpretation of this is that like the of e -E -E. It's, it's like uh it's more so a take about like the lack of prosecution revolving around like hardened criminals that do murder or whatever but ultimately uh that's fucking false as well and it started off with him straight up saying homeless people are not human <laughs> so you know what i mean thanks to you i am now radicalized leftist and am leaving active duty at the end of my current enlistment i think for thanks them like hassle. any opportunity to raise awareness about a very if you watch a podcast it literally is a joke about cops priorities if there's a longer video of it i'll, I'll watch it Also, his confusion about them owning stuff does not fit at all. Yeah, of course, because it's a bat. It's a poorly executed like misdirection. Well, not even a misdirection, really, because the original premise under the underlying original premise, the attitude that Joe Rogan has, is genuine shock when he finds out that like homeless people do have hu uh, like homeless people are humans, yeah, and that they can have like uh, ownership over property and stuff. Anyway, it's just jokes. When this shit really happens, human life is just jokes. So many people are that out of touch. They agree that this is just poor taste the best. Longer version is on Philly D's video a couple minutes before. To talk about issues of crime within the city. I mean, nobody does anything about violent crime in LA anymore. With Rogan then going on to talk about issues of crime within the city and saying people are just getting away with too much, but the line that seemed to stick with a lot of people was the one about shooting on house people and seeming to generate a lot of anger with people saying things like, and his bitch ass Rubber was crying about down. the safety of comedians Thanks after Chris Rock crash. got smacked and someone rushed the stage at a Chappelle show. Meanwhile, killings of unhoused people have been on the rise since 2010 and surged in the pandemic. Yeah, of course he doesn't care about that. He doesn't think homeless people are human. <laughs> like, that's pretty obvious, right? Like, I think we all at least agree. Like, you think it's a joke. You don't think it's a joke. It doesn't matter, really. Like, what he is saying, not as a joke, is the fact that he doesn't believe homeless people are, are, are people. Why the fuck would he be surprised that homeless people can, like, own shit and have, like, uh, and, and be protected by, uh, by, by some laws? No such thing as a joke. What is this? Psychology behind the unfunny consequences of jokes that denigrate? Oh, my God. Bro, I don't want to have this conversation. I don't give a fuck, okay? For me, if you're a fucking comedian and you say some dumb shit, the worst, most offensive part of it is not, like, you fucking saying some dumb, uh, offensive, denigrating shit, okay? It's the fact that you weren't funny. That's it. Shut the fuck up. I hate leftists. I hate the left. Shut up. Shut up. I'm never going to read your fucking dumbass essay about how jokes are actually bad. Okay? I don't care. You've read too many fucking essays. You're too much of an article head. Stop. Stop reading articles. Stop. Stop it. Here's why joking can often be violent. A thread. No. No. Shut up. It is violent. It's making me violent. When I hear your fucking horrifying worldview, it's making me violent.
pandemic. And you had community leaders in Los Angeles and advocates for the unhoused speaking to Variety about this, with Theo Henderson, the creator of the We the Unhoused podcast, saying, It's repulsive. It's infuriating because it's not only out of touch, but the reality is that unhoused people are targeted by housed people. To advocate trying to shoot at unhoused people or just giving these dog whistles to people that do not see unhoused people as human beings. And Andy Bales, the head of the Union Rescue Mission Shelter in downtown LA, also saying that murders of homeless people in Los Angeles went up 47% last year over the previous year. And adding, there's a bit of an unfortunate vigilanteism already. Jokes are absolutely a tool to normalize garbage. It's just a fact. Sorry if you can't handle that. Dude, please, 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 please stop. Okay? Please stop. Jokes are absolutely a tool to normalize garbage. I do not care for your dumb fucking like anarchity, tender queer. I just learned about leftism from internet memes attitude. Okay? The world is a dark, horrifying place. Okay? The world anti-intellectualism is so based. No, dude, you're just neurodivergent. Okay? It's not anti-intellectualism is so based. That's not what I'm saying. You're just neurodivergent and incapable of fucking e evaluating context. That's it. And now we're forced to live in your fucking brain. Because you're a narcissistic piece of shit. That's it. That's the reality. And because okay. of the way that the internet works, we have to literally act like what you're saying has value, okay? We have to sit here and act like your own fucking method of reducing everything to this, like, no context fucking blob string of sentences that is always 100% legitimate and honest and has, like, uh, you know, the, the full uh, seriousness of, like, any other fucking statement is how we have to live with. We have to live like you are living. Okay? Sometimes, you just gotta shut the fuck up. Sometimes you gotta shut the fuck up and be like, why are other people laughing at this, but I am incapable of it. The war on jokes of battle people will lose Lamau and his time-consuming and dumb. Exactly. And you're embarrassing. And you make your entire advocacy around fucking jokes and, like, banning them or some shit. Okay? And it's weird, man. It's that. weird. Normal human beings don't operate that way. They see you and they think you're fucking weird. And they look at the entirety of left and go, yeah, that, that actually corresponds to my preconceived biases about how the left is about like not making jokes or whatever the fuck. Holy fuck. One year with the brain rotted left. It's so right. wild and that there are so many fucking people that operate this way, okay? Just calm. Just calm down. Calm down. Take a deep breath and be like, why did I say that? Jokes are absolutely a tool to normalize garbage. Just a fact. Sorry if you can't handle that. What do you think fucking Joe Rogan? Is Joe Rogan a product of his environment and a reactionary fucking dickhead who's an out-of-touch multi-millionaire? Or is Joe Rogan a sinister fucking Nazi who's secretly trying to subtly murder pill all of his fucking fan base so they can go out and kill homeless people? Because that's what you're saying! And you're a psycho! If you say that, you're a fucking psycho! You are insane. You're just an insane person who has happened to find themselves on the right side of politics and the right side of history. Shut up. You simultaneously taking on SJWs and meatheads is the whiplash my brain is getting used to. I understand the brain rot now. Motherfuckers coming in here being like, jokes are violence. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Lighten up. Wow, 15 Stop being weird. I am now a Maoist third worldist and Hassan is a revisionist pig. Okay. You're unlikable and weird and most normal people look at you and go, man, that sucks. Why did you call them neurodivergent? Oh, here we go. Let's hear it from this fucking guy. Four month subscriber too. Why do you think? Why do you think I did that? Joe Rogan on Roe v. Wade, huh? When I say stop being weird... Just be normal. I'm still just as ableist as this, okay? You understand that, right? Happy a smile.
This is a good joke. Also, because marriage is a sacred. You said autistic. I did not say that. Why can't it be both? People use jokes to dog whistle and codify shit. Yeah, but the jokes are not the fucking problem in that situation. I am pulling my fucking hair out. You are unable Capitalism to pick up basic social people. cues Giga and noobs. context, okay? That's the problem. But the real issue is there are plenty of people like that in here. We're on Twitch. 99% of the fucking chat is neurodivergent, okay? You're not fucking special for uh, being autistic, okay? I'm just gonna straight up tell you, like, welcome, okay? Welcome to the, the, the layer of autism, okay? There's nothing wrong with that. But the difference between you and all of those other people who are sometimes unable to, pick, unable to pick up on social cues is that they don't center the conversation around themselves in this most narcissistic way to be like, well, I right, can't pick up on fucking social cues. And that's precisely why I think every time everyone says something, it must be 100% serious. Only we don't get the new deal. And for the record, none of this is to defend Joe Rogan's fucking idiotic take about murdering homeless people, okay? Just a defense of jokes in general. And it's very fucking frustrating. If someone says we should shoot homeless people and then they say, oh, it was a joke, and you think jokes are the issue, something is wrong with you. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Like, you have a fucking multimillionaire, out of touch fucking dickhead who has robbed the humanity of fucking homeless people so permanently that, like, the prior thing is more offensive, in my opinion. Not the murdering homeless people. The prior revelation leading up to that supposed joke, which was like a, a, a way to redirect the conversation to, like, fucking how. You know, oh, people don't even care about crime anymore. Like the classic fucking reactionary bullshit. The real fucking insane thing is that he's shocked. Legitimately shocked that homeless people have possessions that you cannot steal from. That kind of attitude is the same as fucking saying, kill the homeless people. That's the same shit. Okay? And you're literally hyper-focusing on the neurodivergent thing that I was mentioning. And being like, oh my God, oh my God, I can't believe you said, uh, you know, Joe, I can't believe you, you went against my take about how fucking jokes are violence. It's not. The world is violent. The world is awful, okay? And if someone in, uh, in, in, in that sea of information that is being fucking pumped and funneled into our brains every single goddamn day can make you laugh, then that's a beautiful thing, okay? You're never going to, uh, the other side of it is you're never going to actually have the capacity to stop people from joking anyway. So why are you even fighting this battle? It's already a stupid battle to fight because it's not the problem. It's not the fucking issue. But not only that, but also it makes you look stupid. It makes you look like a fucking weirdo. Hey, my dude, I just want you to know that we love you, my dude. That's all. A lot of chatters on our rally. They need to go outside and meet other real people. I remember Chapa was telling their listeners to literally just go outside a few weeks ago. Yeah. <sighs> Ajahn Pogo. What time does he have? I feel like he's been prime minister for a while. Am I wrong? I don't know. I don't know how their system works up there. I have zero understanding of their system. Yeah, I never looked into it. Yo, Hassan, if you acted nicely, we'd all be communists by now. Yeah, totally. Oh, I just, I didn't even, I, I just liked him. I liked him before the pandemic. Trudeau? Yeah. Yeah. I was like, he's a handsome guy. Yeah. S seems sweet. Yeah. You know, it's like, good, good looking guy, confident, good talker. Yeah. And then during the pandemic, I'm like, oh, you're a fucking dictator. Yeah. Oh, you don't like criticism. You're trying to shut down criticism by saying that all your critics are misogynists and racists yeah you hear he said that about the trucking people the truckers he called them called them all misogynists and racists Oof. yeah he's gross he's a sketchy guy yeah and he's got some fucking shaky deals i would like to see like where the money is coming from i mean that's so awesome he just went i i he was so good looking and then he got that haircut and now i think he's a dictator <laughs> Like, why, why do you want everybody to get injected every four months? They don't need that anymore. Like, what are we doing? What are you doing? You can't even get into Canada unless you're vaccinated. Can't get in? No. Make sure that's true. Because someone just told me. It's almost like the performative aesthetic social justice initiatives online are fucking designed to accomplish nothing but a dopamine hit and a distraction for the masses. 
Man, I'm not going to go that fucking far. There is definitely a lot of performativity involved in like online activism, which revolves, which starts and ends at fucking posting, okay? And your posts and how strong your posts are. Whitney just told me. It's not just a distraction. She wanted to, she had to show her fucking vaccination card to get into Canada. That seems. It's that, a little. Like it adds up for the. Is it? It's just the norm, isn't come. it? Why can a country not make these sorts of fucking rules? I don't understand. Imagine, Chad, if you went live one day with a government issued jarhead American Marine haircut, same oh, reaction. Yeah. Like, this is where it's 2022. It's not 2019. You know where it, it still feels. Because um, I think things sway there so aggressively when thing when something happens um where it feels like you're like wait what time is it right now is in new york i was just in new dude, york dude i love yeah. this yep. i actually love this take there is nothing there is <laughs> there is nothing more american than getting mad about another country's public health measures which by the way unironically i believe the united states also uh has some form of that or had some form of that. But that's pretty funny to just be like, uh, what the fuck's up with that, dude? What's up with the fucking border policy of Canada? It's like, what do you mean, bro? What? We have it too. And also, not only that, but like... Like, what do you mean? <laughs> We're literally using COVID policy to fucking, like, you know, lock up asylum seekers from Haiti still to this day. So that's pretty tight. Everywhere, everyone was masked up everywhere. I was like, what's going on? Why are everyone still masked up? Love They're scared. We live here. It's we a different place. Baby. Like everybody and here said, well, Indiana, I hope like I don't get sick. Take care of yourself. Do your best. Get medicine if you get sick. Yeah. But New York is, it, it, it was strange. I was there two weeks ago. It's bizarre. Yeah. It's very bizarre. It's very bizarre. They, they still wear masks indoors. Fucking Ali Wong was wearing a One mask at your party. At. I kept to love talking it. to her and giving her shit. She Bro, what the fuck? Why would you get mad at someone wearing a mat? What the fuck? Bro, that's wild, okay? You could just be a polite person and be like, I have a light cough. I don't know what it is. Probably not COVID. Don't want to give it to you. You know what I mean? What's bizarre is like being offended at people protecting you. That is a bizarre thing, dude. That is actually what's bizarre. When someone wears a mask, they're doing it to protect you, number one. But even if they weren't doing it to protect you, what's it to you, bro? Why do you fucking care? How, dude, right-wingers are such gigantic fucking snowflakes, bro. Oh, my God.